Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. We're doing your weekly. This is October 1 to 7. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Before we start, shameless plug-in, love and comfort. We have restocked this the shop. The sprays, the mints are back. Hmm. Okay, so this is rose quartz with rose. Okay. Anyhow, let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Um, we're gonna lose your bi-weeklies, but we're gonna discuss um um your one seven in the weekly. So one seven, okay. Let me see what's going on. One seven meaning your house of partnership. Of course, your natural seven is the Taurus energy. That's your seventh house. Um, the way I'm looking at it, of course, their natural lord also is in retrograde. Venus is goes on retrograde October fifth. Um, I'm because it's gonna be in there in your twelve. You know, if you're rising Scorpio and your moon sign Scorpio, I'm seeing here that. Okay. Hold on. Um, okay, interesting. This person will have a desire to see you, to travel towards you if it's a long distance. They would want to connect with you during the retrograde, one, because they feel stuck by themselves. It's not you, it's them who's going to feel the urge, the energy to be with you, to see you, to partner up with you, okay, when they see you. Now, don't go like, oh, then let me make them see me. Then I shall, I shall seal the deal. No, it doesn't work that way. These are all free energy, okay? Um, because the way I'm looking at it is from 7th, they go to 12th, okay? And it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to vary different degrees um, in, your, in, in your chart. Now, because, okay... This is happening on the on Swati, which is the you know this is an air energy, and it's the single star also. Um, this person is the person that you're dealing with loves to be alone. Okay, you probably like to be alone. They like to be alone also. You see that they're a loner. They you would see them always. Yeah, they're gonna be like oh I I like to be with my friends da 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 da. But they live outside of the suburbs, for example, or they live in the mountains and they like to be with their friends. Because in reality, yes, they do like to be with their friends, but they like their time, they like their exclusive energy for themselves, okay? And this person doesn't sway to, it's, a, it's like a bamboo, okay? Uh, Swati is uh, not like a bamboo, but it's just you have to sway with this person, let them naturally, okay, um, during the sense, let them naturally go to the transformation that they have to go to. And I'm seeing the transformation happens when you guys really meet each other, regardless of like your long distance or short distance travel, but when you guys, because this per, this person will have a morning, uh, like they will realize like, oh, I, I want to see you all of a sudden, okay, during this retrograde plan, because they feel like they can grow and change something with you when they when during this process of time. You got me, okay. It's just it's just called like you know the planets as a line. Okay, let, anyhow, let's begin. That's your one and seven. Now let's proceed to your tarot, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is a very important transit with the uh, October fifth, Venus. This is more. Um, you have to be more bothered with this than Mercury retrograde. Mercury doesn't deal with partnership. It deals with communication, yes. But Venus is a uh, ruler of the house of partnership. Let me see here now. You have here the King of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries <clears throat> or a fire air, uh, a fire element. <clears throat> so if this is, uh, <clears throat> sorry, if this is Eng, you know, if you guys watched Nickelodeon, this is the Fire Kingdom. I'm kidding, <laughs> a King of Wands energy here. Um, so this can be your other person. Their energy is right now is just like well, from what I'm feeling here, it's like they like they like to to be with someone for warmth. Okay, now of course I'm gonna be like oh, sell you just converting the words so that it's nicer. Yes, they do want to sleep with you or they want to sleep with people, not people. Because the King of Wands can be a player, but I don't see them as a player. Okay, remember it's being directed towards you. Let me see the other person. Oh wow, well chances are they do want to sleep. Yeah, with the Devil card. Right now, also, okay, Mars is very, very, uh, you know, Mars is very intense in the house of Capricorn. So this person has a desire, either they are workaholic right now, okay, or you are a workaholic. 
um, because that's where the driving force right now. So chances are this, this person doesn't even have time. Well, if you can say it's like, oh, these people, no. This person is, I'm seeing here as like uh, Mars and Capricorn energy here. They're all about um, work. They're all about material gains. They're, this is where they're putting their energies in right now. This is total Mars, Capricorn here. So that's where their excess of energy is going towards too. And the Six of Cups energy. See, I told you, the retrograde will make this person go towards you. If you guys have split, you know, if that's even a word, split. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you guys have broken up, okay, then there is someone who's coming towards you. Six of Cups. Yes, the soulmate is coming. Yes, the soulmate returns. It's not for you even to celebrate. Remember, during the retrograde, it is... However, you know, it's... it's with Venus retrograde, the way I look at it, the people who are supposed to return, they will return. And this is that kind of energy. I told you. Allow this person to come back. Okay? Mm. Oh, wow. Definitely. Look at that. Works in your favor. The sun card is here. It can be a Leo also. There's a double Leo that you're connecting with. They come towards you here. When they return towards you, see, I told you, it's like nobody sleeps around here anymore. They were so focused in their career. Okay? And they've already seen the light. They don't want the devil anymore. They don't want that. They know what is good. And you are basically the new forbidden fruit for them. Interesting, because I don't see your energy here. Opposing to Libra. The Libra, I didn't see the partner's energy until they extended. Let me see here. The Wheel of Fortune goes in your favor. Jupiter. Now, very auspicious again. Scorpio. Okay. All you read, <laughs> you get load. You're going to be... The whole year, basically, you probably will be so addicted to the to, to the reads. Just saying, because Jupiter goes into Scorpio in Vedic Sidereal, okay? You didn't feel not, not one bit of a luck in the past year. Let's be honest, Scorpio. Nothing, right? And now you feel something is up with the universe because it's just entering your zodiac, okay? And I mean, like... You can, you can follow Tropic, it's, it's up to you, but the way I look at it and the way I feel the energies, it's just coming. You never had good life yes, last year when everyone's saying like Jupiter is in Scorpio. It wasn't. It wasn't auspicious for you. This is Sun and Jupiter coming your way. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> See, told you, nothing was going well. Left out in a cold, opposing to the Sun. Okay, but this is also the person that you're dealing with. They feel lost without you or you feel lost without them. They need the warmth. I told you this person wants to be in or around you. They want to feel your presence, the warmth that you have. It's interesting because you are a water sign, but they feel the warmth with you because of Mars being as your, um, you know, well, your natural lord. Okay, you're a water sign that, that, that exhibits like a fire energy. You, you understand me, right? So now that this person comes around here, okay, this is an arrowhead by the way, lovely, moldified. It will come around, Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, someone is coming around that you've been dealing with, because Six of Cups you've been dealing with quite some time, is coming back because they know what it is feeling lost. And they know already what bad judgment that they have done. Okay, so I'm going to continue this reading, guys, because this is a very auspicious time for you, okay, and as it entails, because we're, we're um, in Vedic, so ideal, Jupiter is about to enter in, uh, I believe, 17, 14, 15, 16, 17, um, so that's when the shift comes out, but of course, there's a shadow energy, now you'll see already that, you know, the good things come, good things is coming, okay, all right, so thank you very much, um, Scorpio, for watching. I will see you guys again. Um, that's it. I'll see you guys again. These your weeklies. Bye. Easy as pie. Lemon, apple, or cherry. Love.